Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to read contour maps. A contour map is a method of projecting a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional surface. Frequently comes up in topography and map making, such as indicating the height of various points of a hill on a two-dimensional map, which is what we have here. So you'll see we have a few different colored, not quite circles, but blob shapes, along with some numbers here. And let's go ahead and assume that all of our measurements are in meters. But a contour map could use any measurement. So what this notation means is that every point along this red blob here is at a height of 15 meters, presumably above sea level. Similarly, if you fall along this orange curve, every point on it is 12 meters above sea level, and so on and so forth for these other numbers. So what this contour map shows us, if we try to visualize this as a three-dimensional object, it looks like there's two short hills right next to each other, one with a peak here and one with a peak here, and then a sort of valley in between them. So when you're looking at a map like this, a natural question might be if you're given a set of coordinates to estimate the height at that point. So let's say that we are told we want to find the height at 3, negative 2, for example. So we count out to 3, negative 2. That's roughly here. So that's in between the contour lines for 12 meters and 9 meters. So it would be a fairly safe estimate to say that the height of the hill is 10 meters at that point. Another natural question is if you are given a point, as we did before, in which direction should you travel in order to move downhill? So let's say we're given the point negative 2, 3. One, two, one, two, three. So we're very close to our nine meter contour line. And we obviously want to move away from the peak if we're trying to travel downhill. So it looks like something like this. So if you're at the point negative two, three, you'd want to travel in a northwest direction in order to move down the hill as rapidly as possible. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to read contour maps.